Hey folks, Mrs. Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. Last episode pretty much wiped out that uh, that town, so I haven't tried to go back to it, but there were so many little issues with it, I don't think it's worth the uh, losing an evening trying to figure it out. Um, let's start a new town. This one is one we just did. I think starting point's right there. There's the little bend in the river with the rocks and the reeds. Okay, that's the one that Vapa had done also. I think Razor's Edge did that one. This one is the one we started with of this series. And BU4U is doing this map right now. This guy are down here. Pete Storm and Murphy had done this one. I have not, so I'm going to dive into this one. Give it a try. Okay, slow speed. What do we got here? First of all, we got just the last little bits of winter leaving, so March 1st. Um, lots of trees. Lots of forests on this map. Yeah, whoa, you can get dizzy in your, your helicopter ride here. <laughs> um, it's kind of interesting. I can see a, a bridge coming across here someday. Right across over there again. And then what, over here? You kind of work your way across. How much town is there out here, or land? Oh, they've got quite a bit. So there's a lot of map out here. It goes all the way down over here. So the town is way up there. Wow. Yeah, this is quite a bit of room. We'll probably never be able to fill the room before uh, <laughs> or we have more issues. You know, the, the game's got a little bit of growing up to do yet, but we'll, uh, we can dream. Yeah. All right, let's get this going. We've already lost a couple days here. So first thing you need is Forrester. And let's spin you around like so. Hmm. Let's line things up this time with the uh, the lines on the map already. I'm thinking that's about like that. Kind of hard to tell. Because the shadow is right where I want to be looking. But I'm going to say that's it. Okay. And you cannot put this guy into a tree to be taken down because there's no foresters yet to do the taking down. But I can do something kind of like that. Okay, that'll get them working. <clears throat> there they go. Now, um, we've got Thatch and Smithy. Smithy's not as important. There should be enough nails to get your forester and your nine houses up. But. I tend to throw a few other things in there too, so we will want the smithy eventually. But let's place them and pause them. We'll go, we'll go that route. Smithy's right there. I kind of want him near this. Hmm. Let's angle him out a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Sure, right there. We'll pause you though. And then. I'm thinking that I want something I saw BU4 you do, and at first it looked like a mistake. And I got to thinking about it, that might actually be a smart thing. I'm going to put a warehouse right here near these guys. Um, we'll go to the back here. There's still plenty of room to, to take a cart through in between. And that looks fairly parallel, and right about there. Okay, you pause as well so that these guys don't stop when they get to 200. But they could put 500 in here if we wanted to. Then if we go on a big building spree, it's already constructed, even if there aren't enough people to run the uh, you know, the forestry or something. We've already got them stockpiled. And it'd be a good place to get rid of the iron that's going to be sitting over here. Uh, there. That takes about 20 episodes to finally get used up and the tent goes away we can store it right there so there's that now we need to get nine houses in no we need to get thatch going thatch down here that one hmm let's see let's where's the gate the gates over there that's not the right one there we go gate like so We've got thatch or reeds right there and over here and no more till you get all the way over there so I'm thinking we want to be near these guys. Something like that. Hmm. It's kind of trying to picture what it's going to look like when it's all done. That should work. In fact, we'll even take you back to about there. Okay. And then clay. 
Mm, there you are. It's interesting how it's the opposite of the entrance. The, the entrance to the thatcher is right over here. This one is reversed and turned this way. Hmm. And kind of like to pair these two together. Head down to get one or head down and get the other. How far will you go down? You'll get down into the mud. And eh, we'll take you up a little bit, but like that. Okay. So we've got these guys going. This one is our next one. And I can probably go ahead and speed this up a bit now. Now that we've got this going. Um... Hmm. Where to? They got a couple houses over here. A couple houses over here. A couple houses over here. Yeah. And then farm is going to be right in this area here. So we'll see how that starts to lay out. Um, actually, do we need two houses over here? Most of the jobs are going to be out over here, I'm going to guess. Let's just put one over here for now. We'll make it the mayor's house. House. And how does he lay out? Let's first of all line us up with the with the map there. Uh, I think one touch that way. That looks pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get this this right from the very beginning. Now the front is there. These guys kind of stick out a little bit. Probably a little more than I'm comfortable with, huh? I want to tuck those in a little more. Let's do that. Uh, continue to demolish. Continue to demolish. Let's tuck them in deeper, and then we'll get back to housing. Uh, what do I want here? Smithy. And turn you kind of diagonal like that. Let's go maybe a little deeper. And take you in. Okay, that's... How have we, how have we turned here? North is that way. I'm looking at the cone right there, aiming up hill. So east-west is this way. Okay. So if I were to take that corner of the building and go straight across, it would need to be something like that. There's only one tree to take down. Okay. Now let's grab... Nothing finished, right? No, okay. Um, grab another warehouse and turn you like so. That looks fairly even. Are you sticking out too far? That's, it feels like that's right where it was before. Okay, demolish you again. Try that again. Let's go a little deeper in. It doesn't look that way when I'm putting it in, but it looks that way afterward. So something like that, and let's tuck you in. You're right there. I'm going to go in a little deeper. So we're, we'll remove three trees this time. Okay, you go there, and then... Warehouse. Rotate back. Just like so. That way, if he's even with the back, the front is pretty much even with the front here. Okay. So with that, let's get the first house in. Which... We'll go back to where we were a couple minutes ago. Spin not the whole map around, but just uh, T will work, yeah. Is that it? Feels like it's crooked a little. Let me move myself over to that green line. That looks fairly good, but it still looks off a little bit to me. It's going to be hard to really maintain any kind of a constancy. It would be nice eventually if it did snap by choice. You know, hold down the shift and it'll snap north, south, east, west. Otherwise, you've got free reign. Alright, so I'm kind of wanting to clip off the fronts of all of these and land somewhere in about here. And that space there, leave enough for carts to get through. Eh, something like that. Okay, so that's that. Let's put three around this corner and then... Let's tuck some clay in here, so that's even a little bit closer, too. So, let's see here. House. Let's grab a 45. Let's see. If I hold the Alt down, and then rotate with T this time, and dive that into there. <clears throat> Actually, that looks like a pretty even triangle. 
I'd say that's 45 right there. And I want a house here, and then I want the 45 to hit. Let's go in a little bit, kind of round this off and take you to about there. All right, next house. And let's see, you want to go there. So if I were to tuck you, oh, something like that. Bring you back quite a bit. Let's see, just hold. I can't hold the alt because it'll I'll lose the uh, snap on the other side. But the further back I go, the more the front fence is parallel to the front of the house. That looks pretty good right there, and it leaves a pathway between it and the forester, so they can still get into the forest easy. All right, you're gonna go there. Then one more, and let's take you back to even with that one. So hold the alt. Let's zoom in there a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to do a couple of taps that way. Something like that. And what are you looking like? Yeah, that's fairly even right there. Consistent. Make you parallel to the front. And do that. Okay. So we have trees to take down. Oh, I didn't, didn't hire these guys. Let's hire all five for a moment and do a little catching up while I'm laying things out. Let's get all these trees taken down that are that are uh, stalling these projects, and you need to pause. You need to pause. All right, in fact, let's just shove you guys to the back for now. Don't want to build you yet. All right, three houses there, one house over there. So now I'm thinking houses facing which way, though? Um, they're facing out, or they're facing out? Boom, boom. We have a road probably coming up through here. Okay, so if I were to put one right there. Now, are we pretty parallel to out there? That looks pretty good. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, so if we were to tuck that right in between those two tents, which are going to disappear here soon, and... Hmm, which way? If I put one there, the next one goes here, or the next one goes here? Or we just do both. Okay, we'll do we'll do both. You can go there, you can go there. That gives us a pathway around both sides of this area. Okay. Then what? Farm kind of lands over here-ish. Uh farm. We turn it that way or do we turn it this way? I'm kind of liking this. I'm gonna do it a little bit different than last time. Is that nope, that's off a little bit. That's off too. Is there there's a spot in the middle. Okay. So farm fields will drop down these grades that buildings will not. So we could have a farm a field dive off this way and it would be fine, even one on this side of it. So we do have to get into there and there. So if you were to sit clear over here, hmm, like this. So if there was a road coming through here, right where my mouse is, it would, okay, we're touching that green line there. So it would need to be half of, half of it wide, about like that. And then a field there and there. Something like there. Okay, you're gonna be there, pause. And you're already at the back. Okay. So if that's there, let's grab a house. Those houses are there. Farm and all these fields are here. Then I'm probably looking at something out over here. Farm there. Fields in here. These guys are here. We have kind of a road. We're yeah, it look like we're even with the lines there. Kind of a road shooting through here. Curves off. You guys could pick up a, that road again. Like there. Okay. So, we're in this area here. We've got front doors there. 
something like that. Let's come down a little bit. That leaves a space for a, a narrow road in between. Yeah, there's a road left there. All right, so let's put, what we got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, <clears throat> house, let's do nine and 10. Okay, so there's the first 10 houses. We only need nine. So this last one, we'll go ahead and pause. Anything else not necessary? I'll take you to the very back. Uh, pause. We'll put you there. And you're going to be there. You're going to need to run you before long. Because I want to do something else right now, which then takes away some nails. I want to get this warehouse right over here. Uh, turn you around. Okay, we parallel? No. Uh, that one. That looks pretty good. So if you were there, that leaves a road behind. And the front fence corner is right about like that. Yep, I think so. That one I want done right now. So that one is actually going to be first. So how do we kind of coerce them to do that? Yeah, we'll just see how they, they do it on their own. I mean, theoretically, the first one in the queue is the one they work on, but realistically, it's the one that's closest to where they live, or the one that's closest to the supplies that they're going to work on. But we'll see how this works. We had five guys in here, four are in there now. Uh, 150 boards, we're doing pretty good. Let's take you guys down to three. Two can be getting a log, and one can be in here processing it. In fact, for that matter, two would probably do the same job. We'll see. I want to get as many people constructing, and I didn't turn him on. Okay. Put two in there to kind of get him. Actually, I don't think there's ever a problem with him catching up, especially with the, the reeds right there. He will go through this really fast. No problem there. Um, thatch left in town, nine. Okay. But I do want to get this going because... While normally you would hire a guy in here because in, in the warehouse because he can then grab a cart and take that cart off and bring loads of things back in. We've got a whole bunch of ladies sitting over here with nothing to do. I'm thinking four ladies filling all the jobs in that one could do a pretty good job of filling that up. And the idea is that we'll fill it up with lumber and thatch and nails. And all of the jobs out over here that need these supplies will all grab from right there. It's a way of, of recruiting the ladies to come in and uh, basically help build the houses by bringing the supplies halfway over. Let's get clay in this area, though. That's also going to help us out. So, let's see. Spin you around like so. And I want to tuck you back a little bit. Something like that. Okay, so we have clay kind of up in this area. Clay over there, and later on we'll get clay out over here somewhere for whatever we're going to do in this side. But that's about as efficient as I can make it, I think. Yeah, we'll see. Are we Looks like we are starting to do something here. Oh, good. Okay. Take it up to three speed now. I don't think there's anything more that I really need to add, as long as there's nothing here that shouldn't be, that should be paused. Um... Yeah, we'll let them build that. We could set in the the fishing boat, or the, the boat uh, yard, and the fishing dock. And then pause them. I kind of like the idea of... Yeah, we'll do that. Of the boats coming from one area, and the fishing in another area. So you get a chance to see the boat being brought over. It does cause some... Uh, you know, delay in getting the fishing going, but eh, I think I think that's fine. So if the fishing was over here, yeah, something like that. You pause also. Okay, that whole group is for next episode. <clears throat> but I get a chance to kind of figure out how the everything's going to lay out. Over here, two laborers are bringing wood. Okay, there we go. Dropping it all off. And you're dropping off your cart. That's why it's still showing. Okay. Now, 
carts over here would be a good idea. Where to? Right there? I don't think I... Well, we could get one more building into here. Right up alongside of that. It still leaves a, uh, a, a good pathway in between. Hmm. Ultimately, we're going to want this right here. So, yeah, I would say so. Now, forward or back? Looks like it's almost the same size footprint. Let's go... Well, all right, we'll leave it right there. Okay. You're going to be there, and... How many of these cars need to move over? I'll move one of you for one. I'm thinking the majority of them, though, are going to be going to their house, grabbing a cart... Dropping off supplies, dropping off the cart, and going back to their house. I think the houses are their starting points for construction projects. Whereas later, the warehouse, let's fill this up, will be the starting point for anything that goes into here. Wood, and bring me 150. Thatch, bring me 10 for now until it gets caught up. And nails... Bring me 200 of those. Let's see what these ladies can do. Already got, wow, 30 nails, 3 thatch. It's it's all, 10 wood is reserved. It's all flying in here. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm, what I was hoping that I was going to see. So they're bringing, let's see here. Wait for one to come into there and come this way. I'm thinking that they carry 5 wood at a time. All right, she is... No, she's off to get something else. Okay, turn this back on. Awaiting thatch. So they're bringing it out of the uh, the supply tent over here. Now they're going over here to get some more. <laughs> Just like that. Bringing them in probably one at a time. Yep. Five wood. Okay. Yep, carrying five wood. Okay. That's going to fill up quickly then. Quick enough to keep up with these guys to go off and do the other things. All right, so thatch over here. There's already there's still ten stored, so I'd say it's safe to go ahead and up this up to twenty. He'll keep up with that. Um, wood, 191. Let's take you out so we can get more people on on uh, building projects or you know construction workers. Um, we do want to get this triggered though so let's continue and run this one there's a good chance that adding that guy to it is what's going to eliminate the ability to get the smithy built after nine houses are done so i'm not going to risk that we'll go ahead and get him built so yeah two carts there one there i think that's enough for this so later we'll we'll spread the carts out when we get the carpenter built okay There's the birds. Interesting. Get too far forward, and they're gone again. Hmm. So, farm. Maybe all the farms out in here. Don't know. Uh, we could do a separate cattle area this time. Yeah, maybe not use fallow fields, but use a separate uh, separate cattle yards for each one. Not sure. Is there anything else to be thinking about right now? Hey, there's a house that got built. So, well, until we get the cow shed figured out where it's going to go, it doesn't do us any good. Yeah, the rest of this really depends on uh, where everything else lays out. So we're really just waiting for them to get their job done. So let's pick a project and kind of watch it. Something like that. So the ladies are bringing it in. The guys are heading in to collect it and drop it off at the building sites. And I think this is going to work pretty well. We should get nine houses easily built by November, maybe even into October. Oh, we'll see. We did add this project, and we're going to add the uh, uh, the smithy, which I oh, didn't mean to click on that and go there, but uh, 
they haven't started on. Okay. Um, do I want them to start on that soon? I think about that. We'll leave it right there. We'll see if they bypass any of these to get to that one. Where's a good spot here? Right like that. Okay. So 115 out of 150 wood. Nails are mostly in. Thatch is all in. Yeah, they're keeping up with it. <laughs> Enough so that we can probably start saving our treasury. Which we already went through the first 100. So let's take out one. Um, three thatch per house. Five houses worth. We have enough thatch already for all of it. And there's 50 wood per house. So there's 150. Yeah, well, we're going to need to keep up with, with wood for a while. But yeah, we're, we're full though. Let's take out one more. We do need to really watch that treasury. In that it's going to be a while before we're ready to trade and, and uh, make some income for the town. So we got to make sure that the, the town makes it. All right, we're working on these. Okay, let's zoom into this area. All right, that one's done. I'll work on this one now and watch all the flurry of activity out over there. I want to grab the supplies and... Oh. Okay, that, that was odd. One person went in, two people walked out and came this way like they were... Husband and wife going home or something. Oh, I must have touched the bottom of the screen. Goes, whoo! Off I went. So, what else can we do here? Bridge there, bridge there, bridge there. Gets us into this area, which actually has a lot of inclines. We get down low. Let's see, how can we do this? Yeah, you get down low, you can kind of get a sense of what your limitations are. So we can build out into here quite a bit. The town, actually the town could go all the way out to here. There's a lot of building space there. Hmm. This direction, red line is where? Clear out over here. So all of this valley is available to us. Wow. It doesn't look that big when you look at it from up here. When you get down into here, there we go. Red line, did I just hit it? I just hit it. Interesting. On ground level, it stops you at your boundary. I didn't know that. I can't go back any further. So it's, I guess, simulates walking. Hmm. Okay. But there's a lot of space there. I mean, that is huge. Look at all that. All the way out to here. Okay. Well, lots of potential here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six are accomplished. We're at the end of September. And it's just a matter now. We've got all that we need here still. Yeah, I'd say we can take down one more and still have plenty of, uh, of supplies coming in for one, two, three. That'll finish us off, fourth one's bonus. Then next episode during the winter, we'll get fishing going and hopefully get the farm built so that we can get those laid out and get that planted as well. Be nice to get those three buildings done. I think that should be doable for was that three months? November, December, January, February? Four months. Okay. All right, we're a whole week in October already. You guys are uh, not diving into these as quick as I would hope. Let's slow you, let's turn you off. We've got 94 there, and we've got 145 there. We got plenty. And thatch is done. We'll turn you off. Let's get everybody on the building projects. Um, oh, including this one. 
Ouch. Okay. So we have three more to get done in six weeks. Is really what it comes down to. You are the... You are already paused over there. Okay. So really it's these... One, two... Oh, you're still being built over there. Let me count this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, eight, nine, and ten. We do have to do all those. Okay. We have four buildings left to do. Hmm. Okay. Um, nails are all done there. So nails for a house, how many? We... There we are. A hundred nails. What's left in town? 380. So 200 right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just every time I look at this, it feels like I've got an extra in there. So really, we need 200 there. And that's it. So yeah, we can turn off this guy just yet. And just concentrate on these last two houses. And then we'll go back to that one. I think it'll be plenty. Well, what does the smithy need, though? There's 180 left if I, my numbers are right. So smithy, yeah. Nails, 112. Close, but it should work. Back, I bet you a lot of them's already been brought over. Yeah, I need to. Okay. So we can pause that one. There's plenty of nails to to uh, just about finish that one off. Nails, nail. 422. That just grew, didn't it? Did I read the wrong one before? Huh. Well, now I know we got enough. All right, so now last town, we got nine of them done by early October. So I didn't quite get there this time, but also built them quite spread out. And I, I had trees in the, uh, in the construction areas, so that limited things. But uh, no trees left here, right? All right. But we're still going to make it. Theoretically. We'll see how many people need to uh, to go and get firewood and and do other things and kind of stall and out there they're working in a, with a vengeance now yeah they know that they're running out of time I'm guessing whoever's gonna live here is taking on the role of lead uh, builder <laughs> supervisor come on guys let's go let's go all right let's go ahead and get this one unpaused now yeah, we'll give them just a little bit longer over there there's a clay being delivered. That's the chimney. That's the last one there. And we need thatch to be brought in. Mm, we're still a little tight. Still waiting for three thatch. And it's right here, so it shouldn't take that long to get it. It's just a matter of getting someone to, to go do the job. Ah, oh, we do need more clay. Here it comes. And there's the last of it right there. Ah, we're going to be pretty close here. Okay, get that up there. Grab the thatch. It's just right there. There it is. One, two. <laughs> A little bit right there is what's left. There's the three thatch. Right. These boards in. Oh, it's going to be close. One, two, three. Woohoo! Right there. That's, what, November 29th? <laughs> Let's take you down to one speed. Go ahead and turn this guy back on. Continue. And let's see here. So that one needs to go in. May as well go ahead and turn this back on. Continue. Now, no, I take it back. Let's get this guy going. This guy going. And this guy going. Here you are. All right, so we'll get the farm going. We'll get boats. Uh, smithies first, though. Just like that. In fact, for that matter, I've got to make sure those last nails do make it to there before they go anywhere else. This one had a tree to take out. No. Didn't. Okay. So no tree there, no tree here. So i got to be careful they don't take all the nails to any of these instead. All right, we're going to have to speed it back up. Do that and pause these two. What's left? Farm? I doubt they would do the farm before they would do this. It is much closer. There's 92 nails. We'll go ahead and rush through this real quick. Just make sure this gets done. Okay. 
56 nails. I don't know if some nails had already gotten used. It called for, what was it, 112? Uh, right there. 112 nails. So there was 20 short from the 92 that was showing. So I'm guessing the 20 were already used. Waiting lots of wood. Yeah, I'm thinking we're done with that. Okay. Watch that build in the background while I turn these back on. There it is. Okay. Let's get one person working in there. One person working in here. Two guys in here. Turn this one back on. Continue. And let's get this guy going as well. And we'll go ahead and use this as a, a building supply storage so that uh, these buildings don't shut down when they hit their limits. And we'll leave that one paused until we've got a food source. Okay, so next time we'll figure out where to put some market buildings and, and uh, kind of get the you know all the basics of the town completed. So with that, I think we're going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.